Yellow, yellow friends, welcome back to Pinchy's class. My name is Job Jerem, and I'm going to take you through P4 and P5 worksheet three science subject. Okay, so we have those questions. I hope you've done the questions. So let's look at the answers here. We have number one A. Uh, mulching is the covering of topsoil with dry plant materials. So you have to put the word dry plant materials, not plant materials. I know most people make that mistake. Then number one B, advantage of mulching. We have mulching keeps water or moisture in the soil. Yes. It also controls soil erosion. Yes. It also makes the soil fertile because uh, these plant dry plant materials, they decompose and they form manure. Okay. Let's go to Let's go to number one C. Number one C, uh, mulches should be in dry form to avoid mulches from growing uh, into weeds. So in case they are not dry, they can turn into weeds. And you know how dangerous weeds are in a farm or in a garden. Okay, let's go to number two. We have that diagram showing a life cycle of an insect. And they have told us part A, name the type of life cycle shown in the diagram above so that life cycle is an incomplete life cycle remember an incomplete life cycle has got only three stages yes let's go to number two b number two b uh stage n is known as the adult yes because from the adult we go to eggs and then back to the nymph and therefore m is nymph but to c uh, insects with, with, with such a life cycle, we have cockroaches. Yes, cockroaches have got an incomplete life cycle. And even grasshoppers. Yes, even the grasshoppers. For those who eat grasshoppers, you just enjoy, but you don't know the life cycle of a grasshopper. <laughs> okay, let's go to number 3A. 3A, um, a vector is, an, uh, is a living organism which spreads diseases vectors spread diseases yes then number three b ways of making water safe for drinking we can boil the uh, water so uh, actually it's a common way of uh, making water safe for drinking boiling then uh, number three c number three c mm, vectors that spread the following diseases like uh, the first one is trachoma trachoma is spread by housefly it's a housefly spreads trachoma and then elephantiasis is spread by culex mosquito yes the culex mosquito spreads elephantiasis let's go to number four the name given to plants which do not bear flowers is known as non-flowering plants those plants are known as non-flowering plants and then number five examples of the above mentioned we have uh, fans you can see the fans there mosses also there and leverts yes they are all in the pictures there then number six number six suggest uh, the difference between plants and animals now plants make their own food and you know the process is known as photosynthesis while animals do not make their own food you lazy animals you feed on plants <laughs> and other animals <laughs> so you're lazy <laughs> okay number seven let's go to number seven flowering plants are plants that bear flowers yes flowering plants are plants that bear flowers and then number eight uh, flowering plants reproduce by means of seeds most flowering plants reproduce by means of seeds because you know that in a certain part of a flower uh, the ovules turn into seeds after fertilization okay then number nine number nine uh, the part of a seed that grows into a shoot system is known as the prumio like you can see it on that uh, uh, photo it's known as the 
bromium. Okay, or oh, in that diagram. Then number ten. Number ten. Uh, one part of the shoot system. Oh, of course, you when you look at that uh, uh, plant there, we have the leaves, the fruits, the stem, the flowers, the branches. Yeah, and all those are parts of the shoot system. Let's go to number eleven. Number eleven. Uh, we are going to use the leaf there. Number 11 asking for part is now that part is known as the midrib. Yes, you can see even in that diagram of a, a leaf. So that is known as the midrib. Then number 12 function of part marked in. Part marked in attaches the leaf on to the stem. Yes, it attaches that without that part, of course, the leaf wouldn't be on the stem. And the last number for science for today, number 13. Main function of a leaf to a plant is to make food for the plant. Apart from making food, it also it is also important in breathing. Remember, the stomach are found on the leaf okay well that's it for science subject uh for piece four and p5 worksheet three we hope to see you in our next video and for now we're saying have a nice time